All right, so in this turn, I want you guys to change up what you're doing. Like, Will, when you you were taking this outside at first and just looking for something to, to bank on. Now this turn is starting to develop and you guys start to get to where you rely on that berm instead of using it for a little security, right? So when you rely on the berm, you're really deep into it, right? And, and when you make that your mentality, not saying that you never want to use the berm, but when you're always looking for something to hit, you're waiting for it, right? And then once you get to that turn, you're usually, usually a lot more aggressive. So what I want you to do, I actually want you to do it standing the entire turn. When you come in here, I want you to use this beginning part of the turn where this is a little more firm, right? As you get through the turn, what does it start to get? Slick, soft, you know, real mushy. Right, and you can see as, as it started to, to develop, you guys looked for that berm to hit. I want your focus to be to the inside of that, that berm. So when you're to the inside, that doesn't even become a focus point, right? You're looking where you wanna go and let the rear end steer you. If you end up going to the berm, okay, then it becomes security where right now you rely on it and then when you make a mistake, you have nothing else to rely on, right? You're either over the over the track or you're slamming the brakes, whatever you're doing, which causes a mistake. So when you change that mentality, you get a little bit more feel of actually steering with the rear of the bike. And then once you start using the berm, you're not relying on, on it as much because you because you know you can turn without it, right? So then you're a lot lighter on it and you're just using it for a little bit of traction, not to help you steer, right? A big difference. So I want you guys to come off of it and a lot of it's your eyes, right? What you do with your eyes, the bike is gonna follow, right? As long as you stay committed. Yeah, if you don't lean or you don't gas, the bike isn't gonna turn and follow your eyes. But if you stay, keep your eyes to the inside, just let that rear end slide, you'll be surprised how much more benefit you're gonna get out of it. Once you start using that berm, then it's just gonna be there for a little bit of traction and you won't be so deep in it. And the bike will drive a lot better. You'll make less mistakes because you know you can turn that bike without needing something there, all right? So standing up all the way through the turn, when we get here, where are our eyes? Yeah, that, that berm never becomes a focus point, all right? Let's go. Even like that last one, Will, it was too late, right? Like once I was standing there, it's back there, right from that beginning part of that turn, right after where you crashed. And you go, that's where your eyes had to make that commitment. It's not second guessing. It's not, uh, is it gonna stick? Is it gonna work? Cause like we've talked about, when you have that thought of, uh, it might not work, guess what? It's not working, right? Cause the bike is still moving, you're hesitant, you get away from the bike with your body and it's not gonna work. It's gotta be commitment or you're gonna go right to this berm. And that's why I stood here but I, when it was, oh, okay, I'm gonna turn off of it right there. No, in the beginning, right where it's firm, that's where the eyes go up the inside and you commit, right? This is where your focus is, but you have to have to stay committed. If it's not, if it's not sliding, right? Like um, Josh, you felt when the bike wanted to push, why did it want to push? Your eye, not your eyes, because you looked up the inside, but once you got under power, what'd your chest do? Went back, so all the weight goes to the back, and then the front end's too light, right? So if it's not wanting to turn, you've got to lean a little bit more, but also have that upper body forward enough so that back wheel will slide, right? Because once you get right here, the back wheel's not sliding, the front wheel's pushing, right? So those are the things, as a rider, you have to be able to feel, and you have to know, okay, this is what I want. If you want your front end lighter, yeah, you're able to shift it. If you want the back end lighter, you shift your weight a little bit forward and you allow it to turn, but you also have to commit here, right? A little, like even when I was standing there, Jackson, you got 
Uh, is it gonna turn? Uh, no, it doesn't. Commit. The worst that's gonna happen is the back wheel slides a little. Who cares, right? But when when you second guess it, it doesn't work. Commit, and you'll learn to actually feel that this bike will work. It will get traction. It will turn sharper when you want it to. But you can't have that hesitation. All right, let's go. That, those last few runs when I stood right here, how much tighter were you when you committed back there? Or you guys were all the way over here in this area. So imagine you're behind that rider that's just going all the way out here. Are you going to be able to set him up easy in that next turn? Even if he's taking that inside rut, you're able to get to the inside of him, right? But the mentality has to be back there. The longer you wait, you're already exiting that turn. You're not gonna be able to set up that other rider, right? And then you get into the, the best saying from a motocross rider is it's one line. Yes, it's one line when you can't switch directions. When you can't steer with the rear of the bike, you just follow that line all the way around. But a lot of it is a mentality and where you choose to do it, right? Or can you, do you practice it, right? Because right there, once you made that focus, to the inside, inside of me, should I say, the bike turned, right? But every time Will or any of you here, you'd have a little hesitation with your upper body. You know, Nico, when the bike pushed, what'd you feel where your upper body was? Back, right? I saw you shake your head and you know, knew it, which is good, right? Mistakes are okay when you feel them, you circle back around and you try to fix it, right? The biggest thing is being able to feel those mistakes when you fight it and you, oh man, dang, I still didn't commit. Go again and again. It's all about repetition, but not only me telling you the things that you're doing wrong, like Burgess, same thing. When you get away from it, does the back wheel slide? Not when you're here, but you get a little bit more over the front, that back wheel is going to slide a little bit more and stay tight. That's the biggest thing. Your bike isn't pushing when you don't want it to, right? If you want it to push and you want it to go out there, okay. But you've got to be able to do bolt bends and, and do it like this, right? Right now, I want to stay to the inside. Right now, I want to go to, to the outside and be able to do it with the same speed. That's the biggest thing, not hesitate more. Come in through here, land that double right here. Get your eyes up. Okay, that rider's going over there. I'm staying to the inside. Boom, block pass or a little nudge. Catch, catch him off guard. He'll think he's protecting his inside, and then all of a sudden, He's coming in that turn with this angle, you're coming in that turn with this angle. Who's gonna win? Right, that guy that has that angle to, to help him make, make that pass, right? And at least show that guy you're there. You don't even have to necessarily block pass him or anything, but once he knows you're doing things that he's unsure how is even possible, you're in his head. If you didn't pass him here, you're passing him eventually because you're just, everywhere he isn't, you are. Right, and that, that's how you get in a rider's head, is being able to do that stuff. But if you don't ever practice this, you just follow the berms around, you slam the berms, you do what every other rider does, you don't open up those opportunities because you're not any better than that guy is. You've gotta have more control and be able to hit a berm when you want, cut off a berm when you want, stand, sit, feet on the pegs, leg out, just have the options for the situation because every situation in motocross changes a lot, right? Do you agree with that? They just Sometimes it's muddy, sometimes it's slick, sometimes it's sandy. You can just go on and on. And the rider that can adjust to the situation the best is usually going to win, all right? So, again, I might move. I might change. I might come back here. You can change where you where you shift, but the earlier you shift that focus and make that power and that cut and steer with the rear wheel, that's the better. That's what we're looking for, all right?